Hey YouTubers, you guys ever feel like you have way too much play on your emergency brakes? Uh, in other words, your foot brakes? Like it's just traveling way too much and you feel like it's wearing down? Or have you ever drove your car and left your e-brakes on by accident and just kept on wearing the pads in the back? Well, today we're going to try to adjust the rear uh, emergency brakes, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. First, you're going to want to chalk your front tires, okay? So it doesn't go anywhere when you lift up your back tires. When I, what I did is I went ahead and jacked up the car using the differential as my jack-up point and I'm using the, the drive axle, the rear drive axle as my jacking points, okay? I already took off my tires just to show you what it's going to look like. I didn't want to bother you with that process because everybody knows how to remove a wheel and tire, right? Okay, and what we're going to be looking at is from right here underneath From behind the rotors, you're going to have two sets of bolts, okay? One to remove the entire caliper and one to remove your brake pads, okay? The rotors right here. Now we are behind the rotors, okay? The set of bolts that you're going to want to remove is this one. This one and this one right there. They're both 17 millimeters, okay? So let's go ahead and start removing them. After you remove those two bolts, you're going to want to start jiggling this out just like this. No need to remove these two bolts to take your brake pads out. This should come out fairly easily. Once it comes out just like that, you're going to want to set it aside. Okay? Use tie wraps if you want to to set this aside. You don't want this to fall on you or just secure it back here. You're good to go. Next, go ahead and release your e-brakes. Your next step, you're going to want to try to take your entire rotors off. If they're stuck, you want to want to get a rubber mallet and start tapping it all over the place, okay? Start tapping it until it comes out. And if it's still stubborn and you can't tap it out, then go ahead and find yourself a couple of screws. And I'll show you where. On your rotors, there's two slots for screws right here. You're going to have to find a set of screws that will fit that diameter, okay? So, what I did was I found two screws for you guys right here that fits perfectly, okay? You can buy these screws at Home Depot or wherever as long as the threads fit, okay? And just go ahead and screw it in there until it hits the surface. Once it hits the surface, remember this is only if the rubber mallet doesn't work, okay? You can go ahead and take a Phillips screwdriver, a power one, and go ahead and turn it clockwise on each side one at a time just like this so it doesn't come out crooked okay so if, as you can tell it's coming out right now see the whole thing just the whole thing is starting to move out now I can loosen it up and jiggle it out and ta-da the whole thing comes out and if you take a look behind here here are your e-brakes Okay. Underneath your e-brakes, if you look right here, you're going to see a little spindle with teeth. See this spindle with teeth? All you have to do is flick it towards you, flick it towards you to make it tighter, or spin it that way into the car to make it looser. You don't want it to looser, you want it tighter. So let's go ahead and flick it a cup, about three rounds going towards you. Once you flick it three rounds towards you, you're going to want to put your rotor back on the same way you, put it, you took it off, okay? What you're trying to feel for is friction against this rotor right here, this brake rotor and the, the, the pads itself. If it feels too lo loose, go ahead and take it off and flick it some more. Flick it towards you. I want to flick it three more rounds, put it back on, and get a feel for it. Still, uh, I think I can go one more round. Okay, 
Let's put it back on here. What you're trying to feel for is some friction. And that's how you adjust the brakes, okay? You don't want it too loose. Maybe one more flick. All right, let's put this back on here. And let's see if this should do it. There you go, guys. I like the feel of this already. Remember, when you're driving, you don't want this to be wearing on your, your rear drum pads or anything. You want a slight friction where it rubs against the surface, but not too loose, but not too heavily intact onto the, to the, the inner linings, okay? You want, it, you want some form of friction, and that's how you adjust it, okay? So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, step on my e-brakes and see how it feels. I'm going to do this to both sides first, and then I'm going to go ahead and do my e-brakes. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and step on my e-brakes, get a feel for it, okay? It feels a little more stiff now that my rotors are on and my drum brakes are fully expanded out to the inner walls of the rotor, okay? So now I want to keep it pressed. I'm going to go back. I did this a couple of times already, guys. I already did it to the other side. I didn't even film the other side, but I already did it to the other side. So what I want to get a feel for, right, is the tightness that I know that the drum brakes are totally, you know, expanded out and it's not going to make this thing come out, okay? It's pretty tight, guys. Okay, I'm going to go back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to release it and I'm going to go ahead and feel for the drag again. I just want to make sure, guys, okay? You kind of want to get a feel for it. The only person that can actually do this is you because you're actually feeling the drag yourself. You want the drag between the drum brakes, the brake pads inside here against the inner walls of this rotor. You want to feel that, okay? But you don't want it so loose where you can just pop this off. You don't want that, but you don't want it so tight where this thing just, just gets stuck okay then you won't be able to adjust it or anything and you'll be getting a lot of wear because it's so tight and it's dragging against your your inner rotors for so long that it's going to just wear on itself you just want that slight drag okay i like the feel right now whatever you do do not step on your brake pedals if you step on your brake pedals all you're going to do is start compressing your calipers you don't want anything to move right here you want to leave it alone so you don't have to end up bleeding your brakes again or anything like that okay so right now let's go ahead and put everything back I'm satisfied